Hello educators, welcome to Design to Educate. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the most up-to-date Blackboard gradebook, specifically when it comes to dealing with LTI assignments or assignments that were created on a publisher's platform. We've moved them into Blackboard and now we have to deal with that grade. Let's take a look. Now, before we get into it, I did want to tell you that it has been a while since I've uploaded a video, and that's because I've been helping my faculty here at my university get ready for the next semester and finishing out this fall semester. That being said, I am a working instructional designer at a university, and I build these videos to help my faculty do things in our Blackboard platform. So if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment section, I'd be happy to do a video to help you guys out as well. Now, jumping into this, the purpose behind this video is because Blackboard Anthology has been making a lot of updates to their Blackboard Ultra gradebooks. One of the updates that came out in the early part of December is adding an additional item category that allows assignments that are from LTIs or publisher tools to come in and see in your overall gradebook but it's not actually calculating them into that final total. So we want to make that adjustment. The other thing is we want to make sure that we're deploying them in the correct manner so that we can use these shells or use the content in more classes or future classes to come. So let's take a look at the first way we are going to add these items to the final total of our gradebook in Blackboard. For the purpose of this video, I am going to be in a sandbox. I have several units of content here. I wanted to show that I have chapters one, I have an advertisement assignment and a B2B marketing assignment. All of them have an icon of a backpack. And we know that this backpack comes from the homework category in our Blackboard gradebooks. One way to find that out is to go to your gradebook tab in your Ultra course, go over to the overall grade setting in your course, and scroll down about halfway and you will see that we have grade categories and each one of those categories has an icon. If we want to create our own category, we can do this by hit add new category and say that we want to have a new category. So we can title it whatever we want. The idea is that we can create our own categories specific to the items that are coming over. We can also use the existing, whether it's a quiz, an exam, a test, or an assignment or a journal, we can use all of these existing categories for our items out on our LTI platforms. Jumping back to the home page or our course content, we can see that I have two items that have this oval with a line through it icon. This is a link icon in Blackboard Ultra. Now these items came over and at the time that I deployed them, I said that I don't want them to have a category. I just wanted to simply deploy them. A lot of the time we will uh, not put a category because maybe we use a point system in our gradebooks. So we can see that these exist in our gradebook tab with those icons, but they might not be added to a particular category. And if we have weighted categories, it's not gonna be added to the final total. So I'm gonna go to the overall grade setup for this course, we're gonna to go to that gear icon and find our manage overall grade settings. And we can see that I have this set to weighted categories. Now those categories have particular items in them. Again, all of these categories I have built or they came with Blackboard Ultra. But in any case, we will see that we now have an additional item category at the bottom. This is where that Blackboard update came into play and we can see if we expand this that we do have that chapter three and the testing deploy assignments right here, but it isn't being applied to the total 100 of our course. If we wanna add that, we can simply hit this link icon and now it creates its own category in our gradebook. So we want to be able to give this a particular percentage of weight so that it is added into our final total 100. Now that gets confusing because it still is associated with this additional item category. If we are using the category weights, then we do wanna say, well, it's a percentage, not points. 
and that kind of gets confusing. If we want to go over and make this a points gradebook, we can simply toggle this setting up here at the top. We can go down to the bottom and we can see that now there's 150 points associated with this assignment. And if we want to, we can unlink this one. So now we have these being calculated to the total 35, 10 uh, you know, points in the course. So now if I want to go and hit save and confirm, those items are now being added to the total amount of points. And we don't have to go and re-itemize or recategorize these items if we are using the point system. If we are using the weighted system, we want to give it a percentage of weight. Now, that being said, this is the first way that we can go ahead and add items to our gradebook that we've deployed from our tools. They show up in our gradebook in additional items. We then link them to our gradebook, and those points or the weighted category will take care of itself. The other way, and this is the second way, we want to go ahead and delete these items in Blackboard and redeploy them, associate them with an assignment, and then sync our content. Now, this is the longer way of doing things. This is the way that I would recommend somebody doing this if we want to move those between categories to actually have this quiz three associated with the quiz category. We want to actually delete that item and redeploy it into that new category. When we delete this, it is not going to delete any of the content being the attempts or the grade or however many times the student completed this thing and the various points within those, it's not going to delete that because all of the content exists on the publisher platform. So for this example, I'm going to be using McGraw-Hill, but this works with Cengage MindTap or any of the other platforms that we have that we can move assignments from one platform into Blackboard. Let's take a look how we're going to redeploy these assignments. Now, in order to get these out of our courses and back into them, we want to go and find them in our course content and find the ellipsis to the right and hit delete. It'll ask you, do you want to permanent delete this link? And yes, we want to. I want to reassure you that when we delete this, it is not going to delete the student's attempts, their scores, where they're at in the progress, because all of that exists on the publisher tool. All this is is a link that has information about those attempts, about those grades. So we can delete this by finding the ellipsis and deleting the items individually, or we can go up to the top and find our batch edit tool, find the item within our list, and delete these items in a batch edit. Once it's deleted, we can see that it gives us a confirmation, and we now want to redeploy these. In order to do that, we're going to go to the Books and Tools link. We're going to find our Connect tool. We're going to go to our section over here on the left-hand side. And now we can start redeploying assignments. I want to be strategic here because I want to deploy assignments in a category, but those categories have to be deployed separately. So this chapter three quiz, I want in the quiz category, I'm going to select this one first and hit deploy. And I want the best attempt. So I hit deploy. And then when it goes through its menu of options, it's going to land on a page that says, what is this? And in my previous videos that I will link uh, for you guys of deploying these assignments, we want to get to this page and we want to tell this item that it is a quiz, that way it's associated with the quiz icon. We can see that it has 150 points associated with it, and we have selected this item. We can then hit submit. When we do hit submit, it's going to come in at the bottom of our course, and we can see that it does have the icon of a quiz. If we go to our gradebook really quickly, we can see that it is a quiz in our gradebook. And if we go to our overall grade setup, we can then see that it can be found in the quiz uh, category down here, the chapter three quiz. Now for this example, I've used McGraw-Hill to redeploy and deploy and sync grades. Just know that at this point, once you've redeployed assignments, 
whether you're using Cengage MindTap or another platform to move assignments in the Blackboard, we want to sync our gradebooks. Each individual platform has their own way of syncing gradebooks. I know with Cengage MindTap, you go to the MindTap side of things and hit a button that says Force Sync. But in this case, we want to go to Blackboard and hit Sync for McGraw-Hill. Let's take a look. First off, in order to sync McGraw-Hill Connect, we want to do go back to the Books and Tools link. We want to then go to the Connect link up here in our Tools. And right in the very center of our screen, we will see Sync with My Connect section. If we click on this link, it is going to tell us that we do have that one deployed assignment, and we want to hit Submit. What this does is it moves in all of the grades, the due dates, it will update, it will update all of the attempts and it will make all of the content most accurate in Blackboard. We can then click this yellow button here to return to Blackboard and know that it is doing it behind the scenes. If we give it some time, we can then go back to our gradebook and see that our points, our attempts, all of our student information is now in our Blackboard gradebook. Now it will take some time for content such as due dates and attempts and grades to move over. Just let the system do its thing and check back to make sure that those assignments are moving in and the data is the most up to date. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to check out the other content that I have on my channel. I will be slowing all of my updates as we move into the winter breaks and preparing for the spring semester. So be sure to check those videos out. And if you have any other comments, be sure to leave it on those comments. I try to answer those as soon as I can to get you the best and the most accurate answer for your question. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.